everyone, welcome to Edify Beauty. Today we are going to be going through some drugstore tools and see how they compare um, to professional tools that I've used. I don't know what to expect, never tried them, we just pulled them out of the box. So let's try with the waiver. It says it is a wild waiver and it is at CVS and it helps eliminate damaging hot spots. I don't know what a damaging hot spot is, but it eliminates them. It has gentle heat of 375 degrees. I'm glad I didn't actually stick my finger in the um, brush earlier like I was planning to. Oh wait, this isn't the brush. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, fast heat up, dual voltage. Small stylers, big results. Let's see what this little guy does. Do you really pack a punch? Or do you just get tangled with other tools? All right. Sorry, Mina. Let's not burn <laughs> your face. All right, so this is my sister. She is our lovely model today, Mina. And we are going to see what this does in your hair. Oh, it is working. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Little mini guy you can throw in your suitcase. <laughs> Take him wherever you want. Oh, okay. So I think people at home should know this. You want to make sure that you're keeping your section together when you're crimping. Otherwise, you get a weird little guy. <laughs> All right. So what I'm gathering is that when you first heat it up, it crimps really, really well. As I got towards the end of her hair, it wasn't crimping as much. And then when we got to the finer hair that didn't need as much heat, it went back to crimping well. So now my only speculation at this point is, can you get through your whole head or does it start to cool down and take forever. That's really what I'm looking at when I'm looking at curling irons is how long do they last? How long do they take to heat up? And do they keep a consistent heat throughout the styling process? Hmm. Okay. Well, now that we've waved your hair up, let's see what this smoothing brush does. So this is what I thought we were talking about a second ago when I said I'm glad I didn't stick my finger in it. Um, it also helps eliminate damaging hot spots. <laughs> and uh, it has gentle heat and it's a fast heat up and it sounds like it does exactly what the first thing does if you just read the instructions. But uh, clearly this does not look like that. That. So I believe you're supposed to just brush your hair and touch it up instead of having to flat iron your hair. I think that maybe it said that on the side. Yeah, speed up your morning routine. Smooth as frizz, smooth as frizz and as shine. Quick touch-ups. Does this feel hot on your head? No, not really. I don't know if it's doing a whole lot. <laughs> I don't know, people at home, does her hair look any different? I feel like I'm just brushing it softly. <laughs> I'm glad you're my sister. This would be really creepy. <laughs> Not really impressed. Not really sure what this is supposed to do. Let's see if it smooths out these waves. Now you just have waves. <laughs> Well, we've figured out how to make that look you don't want at home. But I would say your flat iron's probably your best bet. It's probably gonna be the fastest way for you to do what they're saying this thing does. So, wave thing, pretty cool, on the go, little. You can travel with it, nice way to little touch up. This thing, I don't know, I'm not, not a fan. So, that was the Con Air Super Smoothing Brush and the Wild Waver. Now we are gonna wet her hair down and we're gonna test some blow dryers. All right, so along with our mini series, we're gonna check out my darling dryer. <laughs> the mini dryer, the small stylers with big results. I don't really understand what they're doing with the names here. It's the wild waver and the my darling dryer and the super smoothing brush. I've decided, I think they decided to give them names, but kind of confused. Let's hope the dryer works really well. I think I forgot to take the nozzle out of it because I just realized that there's a picture of a nozzle on this dryer. Let's see, it's like an unboxing. 
Oh, there is. Oh, it's a little mini one for a mini blow dryer. How fancy is that? So, folds up, easy to use. Like the design, cool. A little fancy director nozzle, like it. Now let's see what you do. Oh, that's, that's dinky. Let's see, <laughs> let's see what high does. That. Ah, okay, that sounds good. I don't have to blow dry it all the way, but I can tell that it has a good strong blow pattern and it also, yeah, it heats up pretty nice. I'm impressed. This is a great travel blow dryer. Um, it's not going to be as powerful as a standard size blow dryer, so I wouldn't recommend styling your hair with this on a daily basis, but for on the go, this, this is pretty good. Yeah, okay, check it out. My darling dryer. <laughs> so out of these three mini tools, I think we found that the blow dryer is pretty awesome for a travel blow dryer. The uh, brush thing is kind of not that useful and the wave thing's pretty cool um yeah so check it out i think you should uh check them out if you've got questions you have other little things that you would like us to try other big things you would like us to try hair things you would like us to try please post them down below in the comments or questions section and uh subscribe to this channel and i hope that you are having a beautiful day